Hello and welcome back to a Double Stitch Creations tutorial. I'm Emma. This is tutorial part three of our Hippo Snuggy or Lovey blanket. I will put a link in the description below for the other tutorials where we worked on the, the little granny square star blanket and the arms and the flower. All right, let's get started. So today you're going to need the yarn for your hippo head. I'm going with this light purple. You'll need a little bit of black and white for the eyes and the nostrils, some hobby feel. You'll need your 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, tapestry needle, and not essential but super handy is a stitch marker. You can use a scrap piece of yarn if you don't have one. You can just put it in at the start of each round to mark the beginning of each round so you can keep track. Very handy. All right. So we are starting with our slip knot. We wrap it around our finger twice. We grab the back loop and pull it over the front loop. We grab the tail and we'll always leave a little bit of a tail for weaving in later on. And we grab the tail and wrap it in front of the loop that's still on our finger and then we once more grab the back loop and pull it over the front. Now we've got this handy loop that lets us loosen or tighten as we go. So we're going to chain two. I'm going to yarn over and pull that yarn back through the loop on our hook. That's one. Yarn over and pull that loop back through the Pull that yarn back through the loop on a hook, that's two. So he and now going to put six single crochets into this chain, the second chain from the hook. So here's our hook. This is the first chain and this is the second. We're going to put six single crochets into this. And for those starting out, I find it um, sometimes handy if you just follow the tail through that knot and pull out the bottom loop of the chain you'll tighten it later but this is where we're going to put our six single crochets into this one loop here. So it just makes it easier to see where you're going to put it. So put our hook in to that chain, yarn over, pull up the loop, two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through both, that's one single crochet. Going back into that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops and a hook, yarn over, pull through both, that's two, and we want six of these, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to just pull the tail so tighten it. And now we are up to round two. So from here on in, we're going to be working um, extra stitches into our round so that we can increase until we have 42 stitches. So we want to make the shape of our hippo head. So we want to increase until we have 42 stitches. And to do that, we're going to go you know, put six extra stitches into every round until round seven. I have this chart here to try and explain it. So we can um, make sense. So round one, which we just did, is our six single crochets. And then in round two, we're going to put two single crochets into every stitch around until we have 12 stitches. Round three, we're going to crease, you know, two, put two single crochets into every second stitch and then one single crochet in between those increase, increases until we have 18 stitches. Round four, we want 24 stitches, so we're going to increase every Two, put two single crochets into every third stitch and in between the third stitches we're putting one single crochet and, and just round repeating um, until we have 42 so round five we want 30 stitches we're going to increase every fourth stitch round six 36 stitches and we want to increase every fifth stitch and round seven um, we want 42 stitches and we want to increase so increasing just means putting two single crochet crochets into the one stitch we want to do that every six stitch. So I'll leave that there um, in the background so you can look at it if you need to. So we're up to round two. 
and we are putting one, uh, two single crochet crochets into every single stitch that we just made in, in the first round until we have 12 stitches. So I'm going into the very first stitch at the top, going under both loops. Let me get my hook in there, there we go. And one single crochet and then I'm putting a second single crochet into the same stitch. And now I'm going to do two into the next. And two into the next stitch. I'm just repeating that until we have 12 stitches. So another two. And I think this one will make 11 and 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. All right, so round three, we want 18 stitches at the end of the round. So we're going to increase every second stitch. So we do one single crochet into the first stitch. And you can, this is where your stitch marker can come in very handy. So put your stitch marker here at the first stitch, just so that you know that's the start of the round. Now we're increasing every second stitch, so we're going to put two single crochet crochets into the next stitch. Then one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two. And we're just repeating that pattern until we get back to our stitch marker. And by doing that, we should have 18 stitches. Yeah, just keep going all around one, then two stitches. One single crochet, two single crochets. And getting to the end. Alright, we done round three. One single crochet and then two single crochets and you should find that you have 18 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right, we are up to round four. We want twenty-four stitches at the end of this round, and we're going to increase every third stitch. So one single crochet into the first stitch, and I'll put my stitch marker back in. One single crochet into the second, and now we're going to do two single crochets, one into the same stitch. Now we're repeating that, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets into this, the next stitch. And we're just repeating that all the way around, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet. Two crochets. And then once you get back to your stitch mark you should find that you have 24 stitches. Alrighty, I'll just count. Okay, 
24. Okay, round five. We want 30 stitches at the end of this round, and we're going to increase every on the every four stitches. So one single crochet into the first stitch, put your stitch marker back in. Just keeps track of where you're up to. Then one single crochet into the next. One single crochet into the next stitch. So that's we're doing one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. So that's three. And now we're doing two two single crochets into this next stitch because it's the fourth. Now we're just repeating that one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two. So there's three single like three stitches that only have one single crochet between the two single crochets. So one, two, three, so I want to put two in here. So one single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to do two single crochets. So as you can see, each round there's going to be more single crochets between the double, uh, where we put the two single crochets between each increase. So this round's got three single crochets between the two two um, single crochets that we use to increase, and then the next one will have four and then five in between each increase. So one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochets. And one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two, and then we're on the last section. And you should find that you have 30 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, two, one, two, 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 five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty. All right, round six. We want thirty-six stitches at the end of it, and we're increasing every fifth stitch. So that means there's going to have four one single crochets between each of the increases if that makes hopefully that makes sense so we're going to do one single crochet here put our stitch marker back in and one single crochet into the next so that's stitch number two one single crochet to the next that's stitch number three one single crochet into the next that's stitch number four and now we're up to the fifth stitch so we're going to do our increase which is two stitches and then we're just on repeat all the way back to our stitch marker one single crochet which is one one single crochet which is number two one single crochet which is number three one single crochet which is number four now up to our fifth stitch so we're going to do two single crochets and I'm just going to repeat one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and now two it's a little bit repetitive but it's coming up fast I know there's something about crochet that's just very very relaxing So we're just repeating that all the way back to our stitch marker. 
where you'll find you should have 36 stitches. And then the last is number two in the last stitch and now I'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Alright, last increasing round for the moment. And we are up to round seven. We want 42 stitches at the end of this and we're increasing on every six stitch. So just put one single crochet here. So just did one single crochet into the first stitch. Put the stitch marker back in place. And one single crochet into the second, one single crochet into the third, one single crochet into the fifth and now we're up to our sixth so we're doing two single crochets so hopefully you're getting the pattern now and we're just repeating that all the way back to our stitch marker so one single crochet into the first one single crochet into the second one single crochet into the third one single crochet into the fourth one single crochet into the fifth and then two single crochets And just keep going. One, two, three, four, five, now six. So I'm going to do two. Right, nearly done round seven. I'm just making sure I've got five in between each increase. It's always good to have this bit done, I think. <laughs> this is the front of our hippo snout. One, two, three, four. And even up to another increase. And you should find that at the end of this you'll have 42 stitches. And if you get to the end of the round and you find that you haven't got quite enough, crochet is very forgiving, you just add in an extra stitch. Or not, you can just have a couple of stitches less. It doesn't really matter. It's just a guide at the end of the day. Alright, I'm going to count. I'm excited to get this done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, at this point we're going to pause and weave in our end here. And I will move that out of the way because we don't need it at the moment. Alright, weaving in and out. 
backwards and forwards, just securing it away. And once you're happy, just trim it. You don't have to trim it really close because it's going to be on the inside. So you need a little bit of tail. So we are now up to round eight and we are going to put one single crochet into every stitch around for the 42 stitches. So just do one, two, then put my stitch marker in. So I will do, then after this you want to do another four rounds and so I'll do this round with you and it's just doing the same just doing one single crochet into every stitch for a total of five rounds and then we'll work on the next bit. So there's no increasing on this round, we're just doing our 42 stitches and we're just doing one single crochet into every stitch. Sorry, did I hit the camera? <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. I'm trying to grab more yarn. All right. So you just want to do this for another four rounds. And then I will, so we're just doing one single crochet. And we just for all into each of the 42 stitches. And you want to do that another four times. And I will see you at the end of round 12, ready to start the next part of our hippo head. Alright, just completed round 12, we're now up to round 13. And in this round we're going to actually decrease, so this time we're taking some stitches away, which means we're joining two stitches um, together, until, and we want to do that until we have 36 stitches. So this time to do that we go, so we do one single crochet and put our stitch marker back in so we know where we're up to. And one single crochet. So this time it's on the sixth stitch we're going to decrease. So every six stitches we're decreasing. So and sorry, every five stitches and then we're going to do the decrease. I'll show you. So one, two, three. So just do one single crochet into the next five stitches. And now we're joining these two stitches together. So to do that, we go into the first stitch, which is the sixth stitch, into the next stitch along, which is stitch number seven. So now you've got three loops on your hook yarn over and join, uh, pull through th both and then you just join um, join those two stitches together so now we're going to have a few less in our rounds. So now we're doing back to one single crochet. So we're doing that one, so there's going to be five one single crochets in between each decrease. So the one, two, three, four, five and now we're up to another decrease. So I'm into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, to the next stitch along, yarn over, pull up another loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's another decrease, so now we're doing another five single crochets in between. We want to get to 36. And now I'm joining these two stitches together, so into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, to the next stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, and then yarn over and join and pull through all three. Now I'm just repeating that all the way around. I'm doing five single crochets in between. One, two, three, four, 
five and now a decrease where I'm joining two stitches together. And one, two, three, four, five and a decrease. And one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. So you're joining the last two stitches together. And you should find that you have 36. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So then again we're going to do another round where we're going to decrease until we have 30 stitches. So we're going to put one single crochet into this one and put our stitch marker back in. This time it's, going, it's every fifth stitch we're decreasing, so there'll be four single crochets between each decrease. So one, two, three, four, and now I'm decreasing. I'm joining these two stitches together. And then one, two, three, four, and I'm decreasing. Oops. And one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. And one, two, three, four, and a decrease. And we're just repeating that all the way back to our stitch marker. Alright, I'm actually running out of yarn here, so I'll show you how I join that together. Let's see if I've got enough to finish this round. It's so annoying when you've only got one or two stitches left. <laughs> Alright, I don't I want to leave a bit of a tail for knotting it off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop on this one. So how I join this is what I do to join the yarn. I just take a ball. And the reason I went out because I was doing another project. I cut it up. You guys like that? We start projects and then start again <laughs> and do another project. Alright, so I've got my yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this single crochet. So I go into this stitch, yarn over. Pull up a loop and now set a yarning over with this end. I'm going to put that over there because that's the bit that's run out. I'm going to add this with leaving a tail, then yarn over and pull it through. So now it's joined and I'll knot that off. And I usually like to do a one round with it first. And I think I've got to do no, one single crochet and now I decrease. So then you just continue on. With your work and I will knot that in the next round. I usually like to do a round before I knot it off. Alright that should be 30 stitches now. Let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Right. Okay, we're going to do one round this time working in the back loop. So each stitch, which you've probably noticed um, if you're a bit, um, this is for those who are a beginner, 
Um, each stitch has two loops. You've got what we call a front loop and the back loop. So for this round only, we're only going to, into the back loop, which will make, it just gives it a little, see the little um, feature there on our hippo, um, just to give it a little extra feature to make it look more like a hippo. Well, I think so. So we're working in the back loop and we're just going to put one single crochet into every stitch around for the 30 stitches. So I'm just one single crochet and I'm going into the back loop only. I'm just single crocheting as normal, but I'm just going into like half of the stitch. So that the front loop stays out, I guess. So I'm working into the back loop. I'm just putting my hook into the back loop and then doing my normal single crochet. And I'm going to do it all the way around for this round. Just going all the way around, working in the back loop so we get that nice little detail on our hippo's head. Nearly there. Alright, we're nearly up to where I joined the yarn as well. So what I'm going to do is just do my normal single crochet in there. So it will be a bit loose, but don't worry about that. We're going to fix that right now. So I'm just going to grab the two ends here, pull them nice and tight, then just knot it, make a knot. Because this is a toy, I can get away with doing knots. And I usually like to do three to make sure it's nice and secure. And as it's going to be on the inside, you can trim, trim it, but you don't need to be too precise with the trimming. You can leave a bit of a tail because it's going to be on the inside. And I actually think that makes it even more secure. All right, we have just completed and did run. 15 so we are up to around 16 so what we're going to do is do one single crochet for the 30 stitches but this time we're going into both loops so so once more we're just crocheting under both the front loop and the back loop of your stitch just doing one and we're just to put the stitch marker back in here at the start and we're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch but working in both loops this time so just back to normal and just going all the way around and you want to do this for and we want to repeat this for another three rounds after this. So I'll do this round with you. Then I'll leave you to finish the next three rounds, which will put us at the end of round 19.
Alrighty, so just um, continue for another three rounds doing one single crochet into every stitch and I will get back to you at the end of round 19. Right, just completed round 19. So now we're up to round 20. We're going to decrease in this round but we're also going to add the cute little ears as we go. Um, so it's a little bit tricky, but hopefully I can talk you through it so it makes sense. So this time we're going to decrease every fourth stitch, so we end up with 24 stitches at the end of the round. So what we're going to do, I usually like to take a look at my work and basically pick the best side that I think will be the front. So I think this is going to be the front, so I want to put my ears about here, and you can probably Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So about stitch number 12 is where I want to put the first ear and then there's six stitches apart. So 1, two, 6. So we'll put the stitch, the um, ear here. Where it is? Where's my phone? About to turn my phone on some. Who hasn't done that? <laughs> All right, so... First of all, we'll do one single crochet in here. And I'm going to put my stitch marker mark back just so I know where I'm up to. And I'm going to do one single crochet. So you're doing three single crochets in between each decrease. So now I'm going to decrease. So I'm joining these two together. And then I'm going to do repeat. So we're just repeating, but when we get, we're going to continue this pattern all the way around but we're just going to add the ears in as we go. So once we get around to where we think the ears will be um, so maybe one more so I think this is a good spot for the first ear so I've just done three single crochets and the next very next stitch will be a decrease so we'll just remember that um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to go back one stitch so I've got two single crochets so that after the I've done the year I'm going to do a decrease um, so the next stitch we're going to do the ear so we're going to slip stitch into this to so go into that stitch yarn over, pull up a loop, then we're pulling the front loop through the back loop. Now we're going to chain three, so yarn over and pull it back through the loop and hook, that's one, two, three. And now we're going to put four trebles into this same stitch. So to do a treble you yarn over twice so that you have three loops on your hook, go into that stitch yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it up roughly the height of the ear, then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, pull through the second two loops, and pull through the last two. So that's one treble, yarn over twice into the same, so all of this is done into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, pull through the second, and pull through the last. Yarn over twice into the same stitch. Pull through the first, pull through the second, and pull through. Then we're going to do one more. And one, two, three. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that we've been doing the ear, so into that same stitch, yarn over, pull the front loop through the back loop, and that completes year, see look how cute it is, <laughs> that completes year number two, uh, number two, number one, sorry. <laughs> now, so I remember that we, so if you go back here we did a decrease, single crochet, single crochet, so this is, I'll count this as a single crochet. So we're doing three single crochets in between. So now I'm going to do a decrease. So 
So we're back on our decreases now and three single crochets in between. So three, we're going to do a decrease. And let's see how many stitches in between. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do a full crochet in here. And then here we're going to chain three because I want the next space to be my ear. One, two, three. Oh no, sorry. Back a step. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch because that's where our ear is going. So into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull the front loop through the back loop. Now chain three. Now we're going to do our four trebles, so yarn over twice, going into the stitch that we want the ear to go, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two. Okay, so doing two, three more trebles. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to slip stitch into that same stitch. So going into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops in your hook, and then yarn over and pull through both. Now yarn over. I think I need to concentrate. Sorry. <laughs> um, we're going to do a slip stitch into that same stitch. I think there was too many single crochets, that's probably what it is. Going into that same space stitches that you did the ear, we're going to pull the front loop through oops, the front loop through the back loop and pull tight. So getting back to our decreases now, so we've done one I'm going to count this as a single crochet too, so this next one's going to be a single crochet. And then we're going to do a decrease. And then I'm doing three single crochets into the next three, or one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then a decrease and you should find you count the ears as a single crochet uh, as a stitch so you should find that you have 24 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 okay Look at that, it's looking pretty cute. Well, I think so. So now we are going to get our tapestry needle and we are going to work on our hippos, nostrils and the eyes. So we've got the nostrils in one, two, three, four, five, six. So in round number six, so counting from the center here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I apologise if you can hear my dog barking in the background. And so, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight or nine stitches apart. So if you look at the ears, the nostrils are sort of just, um, the nostrils are just sort of just on the outer edge of the ear. That helps you with placement. So grab your black yarn. And I usually like for this because it's a bit bigger, I'll probably double it. Give yourself enough because you want to do both. We'll do the nostrils first and then we'll do the eyes, I think. So we're going into 
I'm just looking at the ear. Just sort of gonna, it's a guess really, but it's completely up to you. So I feel like these ears are a little bit further out than this one here, which happens. So that doesn't matter. So I might put the nostrils sort of in between. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I might just go, whoops. Maybe about here, let's give that a go. And I'm going up. I think I went up four rows, so one, two, three, four, yep. So going up one, two, three, four, so we go up into this one up here. And now we've got the first one in place and just take a look. Is that a good spot for it? I feel like it should move over a little bit. So I think I'm going to move it over just one stitch or so. And all right. So just leave a little bit of a tail at the end. I might cut some of this off a bit long. The knotting off later. Now I'm going up one, two, three, four. So not go over there. Just this is a bit that gets tangled, so just be mindful of See, I already put it through there, which I don't want to put it through. Um, just be mindful of that loop there. Pull, try and pull it out of the way so you don't get tangled. It's so frustrating if you, especially if you make the perfect nostril and then you realise it's all tangled in the back. And you've got to redo it. So I think that's looking pretty good. So just that tail there too, I'm putting that out of the way. I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to do this a few times until I'm happy with the shape of it. I'm going into the same stitches and I'm just going to go, instead of going straight across, I'm kind of going to go around and I'm guiding it where I want it to go with my thumb. Just checking the back that you're not getting it caught because it is the most frustrating thing, trust me. So I'm just holding it in place where I want it to go. And I quite like that, it's sort of a little teardrop, sort of. So I quite like that. So now I'm going to go over about nine stitches and line with the other ear one two three four five six seven eight nine perfect i think that's perfect or maybe eight eight all right so i'm going over about eight stitches eight or nine yours might be different it just depends on i'm kind of in the same in line with the other nostril if i can so i'm in line with the other nostril just making sure it's all Tangle free. Four. And take a look to see if you're happy with it. I think I like that. So now I'm going to do it another few t couple of times. And just guiding it where you want it to go with your thumb. Making sure I haven't caught it in the back. Alright. And I might do another one, go on the other side, like on, on this side of it. And just put about, th turn it about three times in the same 
spot. And once more I'm guiding it. And let's have a look. Do I want one more on this one? I mean, we're going to be a little bit. Well, here goes nostrils are probably odd anyway. Yeah. I'm trying to work out. I feel like this one's down a bit further. So this is a bit of a. This is what I mean. So I think I'm going to want to redo it. Um, so it's a little bit frustrating, but I just feel like this one's too far down. So I'm going to redo it. That's part of the process. So, but that's that's how you do the nostrils. Except you may want to redo it like I'm going to do it. So I'm going to redo it and then I'll show you how I knot it off. Um, but that's just part of the process. I think if you don't like it, you have to redo it. But I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just going to move it over a couple of stitches um, to make it match this one. All right, I will get back to you once I've Alright, I've fixed the nostrils to something that I like a little bit better. In the end, I actually did four. I went over it around four times, but each will be different. So it's just to your liking. So I did it in round six, like row six, and I did it. It's actually seven stitches apart here. And I went up four rows and I doubled the yarn. So I'm happy with that. So now what I do to finish it off. So just cut off the needle. And you just turn it inside out. And I'm just going to knot these strands together. So the first one you don't want to pull too tight because you'll pull your work in at the front. So just do it a little bit. And this one you want to pull as tight as you can do it without pulling your work too much. And then the, this one, definitely do it really tight so it's nice and secure. And then trim. And you're not going to see it because it's on the inside. And that's our hippo's nostrils. So now we're going to work on the eyes. So we're going to start with the black again. Use this as a guide. I'm going to double the yarn so I'm looking here got um, I'm just might lighten my camera a little bit there you go it's a little better so I'm looking here and I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've got it between 16 and 18 here. So 16. So let's see what it comes here. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, so I think I'm going to go 14, like, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so I'm going to put mine between 15 and 17. This is a guide, you'll, you'll find the changes as it depending on how you make it. So I'm going to start, let's see, where did I put it? Okay. We're in place of the nostrils. You've got to think of the nostrils, where the nostrils are, where the ears are. So maybe, maybe here you're going to have a little bit of an imagination. All right, I'll try here. I might have to do a restart again as well. We'll see how we go. All right, can you keep everything as tangle free as possible. I'm going up two. So 
Okay, so far I'm happy with that. And again, I'm just repeating in the same stitching. I'm going to use my finger to guide it where I want it to go. I want it to go around to make as round a shape as possible. And I'm going to do it on the other side. And I might do one more. Back around. All right, I'm happy with that. So now we're going to go to the other side. Let me see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think this is going to be six apart. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's going to be on the sixth, I think. We'll see. Yeah. Might be five, actually. I'll do it on the five. Yeah. All right, we'll try that. Here we go. I'm really trying to make it even. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute. We'll see how we go. And just doing the same thing, just guiding, making sure I'm tangle free as possible. And back around. All right, so that's that. Now we want to add a little bit of white for the catch light or the outside of the light, it's not really catch light, it's just the outside of the eye just to give it a little bit more detail. So I'll cut off the tail because we're going to knot them together, cut that off. Then we locate white yarn out here. Again I'm going to double it. Okay, I'm going into the same spot. I'm going to leave a tail at the end so I can knot the black together. So this is the tricky bit. This is where it can get really tangled. So just keep them organized. You won't regret it. So leaving a tail. I'm just going to go around the outside here just to give it a little bit more personality. All right, I'll pull that up a little bit, just fill a little bit. All right, and then we'll go to the other eye, and we're going to do the same thing. Watching, I don't get it tangled. Going around. I might have to pull different strands tight. Just play around with it a little bit just to get it to something that you like. Let me see. I think that's okay. I think we'll do for now. So that's what we're going to do is knot the white strands and the black together. So cut. Cut off the white leaving tail. So grab the two black strands on this side and the two white. Just turn it inside out a little. And we're just going to 
So you just keep an eye on the eyes at the front when you do this, just to see. You do want it tight, but you don't want to pull. Like if I pull the white too hard, it might disappear. So, all right, now we're going to make this one a little bit firmer. And then the last one as firm as possible. And now I'm going to trim it. And they can go stuck inside, can become part of the filling. I'm going this side, grabbing the two white strands and the two black. And then I'm going to point, keeping an eye on the eye at the front. You might need to use your needle just to pop it out a little bit. And then notch it again. All right, and now I'm going to trim it. And that's our hippos, nostrils, ears, and eyes done. And now we're closing the head. It's getting very exciting. All right, round 21. Now we are doing decreasing rounds until we close the back of the head. So we are going to decrease to 18. So we're going to go one single crochet. And then it's every third stitch this time. So one single crochet and then a decrease. And you can put your stitch marker back in if you like. Once it gets a bit smaller, it's just easier to leave it out, but you can do it for this round. Then one single crochet, one single crochet, and a decrease. Now, as we get to the ears, we're going to just go around the ears. So one, two, and then we're going to, I'm going to skip the ear, so just, and then I'm going to do a decrease over here. So push the ear forward so that he pops out like that. Um, you don't want it at the back. Um, so now I'm just continuing. One single crochet, one single crochet, and up to a decrease. And then I'm going to go around the ear and do a single crochet here. I'm pushing the ear forward. Uh, try and pull, do it as tight as you can here just to make sure that ear stitching behind the ear is tight. And one single crochet and the stitching may be a little bit different here but that's okay it doesn't have because we're closing the head you're not going to know um it's the rough guys so you should have roughly 18 it might be a bit less because we went around the ears so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's okay. We, um, actually, just to keep count, I'm going to undo the last decrease. You don't have to do that. 17 stitches is fine, but I just want to sh just e show you the next round, which because we want to decrease to 12. All right, so now we've got 18. All right, so from here we're going to fill the head with some filling. I'm going to take out the stitch marker. And just fill the head with some. And just shape it into place here.
you go, it's starting to take shape. Maybe orange. That hello, Mrs. Hippo. All right, okay, now I've got the last two rounds to go. So, this round is decreasing um, every second stitch now until we get to 12. So, I'm gonna go one single crochet and then decrease. We may need a little bit more filling at the back of the head. And one single crochet. Oops, sorry, I did a decrease. <laughs> so one single crochet. And a decrease. And one single crochet. And a decrease. And one single crochet and a decrease. And one single crochet and a decrease, and then I'll count and see if we've got twelve. Stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Might just add a little bit more filling there in the back of the head. Now we're going to decrease every single stitch until we have six stitches. So we're joining two stitches again together all the way around. One. Two. So I'm, I'm counting until I have six, but I am drawing two stitches together, so I'm decreasing. So that we can get to six stitches. I'll just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one more. All right. Cut your yarn, leaving this time leave a fair tail because we want to attach it to the head and we want to do we might want to do it a couple of times to make it secure. We want to attach it to the blanket or body, depending on what you're going to use the hippo head for. So I'm now going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So Yarn over, pull the front loop through the back loop, pull tight, and then, I, then I'm going to grab the yarn and I'm going to pull it all the way through the loop. So that's finishing that off. Now grab, we're going to close the hole in the back of the head. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave the yarn into the front loop. I'm just go, just weave it all around. I'm, just, I'm going into the front loop and just going in, into the front loop of every stitch. So about six stitches because that's what's there. So two, three, I think that is four. You don't have to be precise here, you really don't. Like I said, crochet is very forgiving. So just going, I'm only going into the front loop. So what this will do will allow us to pull the hole closed. So now what you do is just pull on it 
and there you go it's closed so now I like to nod it off mm. this is just what I do I don't know what others do that I'm always about trying to make particularly because you know I like to gift my things to kids so I always like to make sure it's as secure as I can Do that a few times. Do you feel like it's secure? It's a little harder with a longer thread, I think. Especially when it catches like that. Do one more. Oh yay! <laughs> this has been like a marathon effort. Well done, guys. We're nearly there. The last tutorial will be construction, so that's good. So now I'm just going to weave this um, in and out a little bit to tuck that knot away. And then we also want to put it where we think. And just weave it in and out. Trying to go the same way as the stitching. And also like use it to use. See how there's a little gap there from behind the ear. So I might go up here and close this gap. So you can use it to fix anything that might be standing out like this little gap. I'm just weaving it in and out until you're happy with it and then because I know that I want to attach the head to the blanket we have a roughly here at the bottom of the chin so I'm just going to weave this to where I think I'm going to attach it to the blanket and we can adapt it once we start doing that but just to make it ready to go all right that's the head. We're nearly done. That's so good. So now we've got all our parts done. We've got the head and we've got the blanket. Mind you, I will probably just swap to the darker purple head. But let's see how we go. And I've got the flower. Oh, pretty. And my arms are here somewhere. I promise they are. I've lost them. But I will find them. But I've got the dark purple arms. And I've got the dark purple head. Look at all these parts. This one's a little smaller. That's okay. All right. So thank you so much for persevering. Great effort. And we'll see you in the very last tutorial for our Hippo Snuggie um, to finish it off and construction. Um, or if you're making a Hippo putting your touchiness on the body that will go into another tutorial but for now I will catch you in the next tutorial bye for now